looking at you Stuck on your phone, you're stuck in your zone And you don't have a clue Welcome and welcome to my channel. My name is my dad. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you for stopping by. I don't, I don't know why I'm doing that, but thank you for stopping by. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and like this video if you actually do enjoy it. I, I feel like I did a good job. So the video has two levels. There's the elastic band method and the not less method i initially wanted to do the nutless braid but my back hair was too short and the hair that i originally got was tangling so much and i just, it was just like i'll just use the elastic band method and then in the front i'll use the nutless method and that's exactly what i did and if you enjoy it it's a two-in-one tutorial basically and follow me on instagram if you also enjoy this video and yeah my hair is a mess and i just got bored of <laughs> the quarantine looks so i already washed my hair and already detangled it and did all that kind of extra shit that you're supposed to do to your hair and i moisturized my hair i'm still gonna moisturize it before braiding my hair so i just wanted to do a tutorial on how to do a knotless braid i haven't braided my hair in so long i'm really excited for this one because <laughs> there's nowhere to go but still still gotta look cute for quarantine so i got like a couple of air i got this this from amazon i already like sectioned my hair because it's what you do you know i don't really feel like doing that on camera but yeah I sectioned my hair out. <laughs> so I already sectioned out the hair and you know I decided to add a little bit of shine jam because that makes it look nicer. Shine jam is a conditioning gel and it just makes it look really nice and I sectioned it. I cut it all through in the middle because that was also very easy for me so I did that. <laughs> So I cut the hair with my cuts and comb. You can use whatever works for you. And then I used the a little bit of shine jam there and also used the elastic. The elastic that I was actually using was a non-friction and elastic band. And it doesn't take out of your hair when you're taking it out. I really saw little to no air pulling from with that rubber. <laughs> applying some moisturizer and some oil just so that like while my hair is braided it's still very moisturized and yeah over here I split my hair into two different sections I made sure like the ones by the the hair basically matches when you braid it like the same sizes all three of them so now I'm applying a little bit of shine jam to the edges of the ends of my hair basically so I placed the hair on my scalp and then attached my natural hair to one of the strands of the braids as you can see in this video and I began plating it all the way till the end it was not fun especially given the fact that that hair was tangling a lot I would not recommend that hair to anyone but yeah and I also made sure like my natural hair was really tucked in even though I couldn't really see because the mirror was a struggle but still I did that <laughs> So I flipped the air to make it more convenient for me to braid. So I just shifted it to the, in the direction that was best for me, basically. So you should do that.
I'll describe it again. I placed the divided air into my scalp and attached one of the braids to one of the strands to my natural air and began braiding it. It's kind of similar to cornrows, just that you're dealing with one at each time. If you know how to cornrow your hair, this explanation gets easier. <laughs> I decided to make it um not less braids just parts in it oh not only it was supposed to be the rubber band method once again but I kind of want my front to look really good so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the shine jam so I started off by splitting my hair into three and then attaching the first very small strand to my hair and tucked it in and braided it one time and also went ahead and braided it to the second strand of air. Attach the second strand. And when you already braided it earlier, you still find one that is missing. And then you attach that to it and you braid it. And attach the third one. You braid it one or two times. Depending on how thick you want the air to be, you either pick three or four. Just depending on you. I didn't want mine to be super thick and I also didn't want it to be super small. So that's exactly why I did what I did. But then I just went ahead and I just kept braiding it and braiding it all the way to the end, as you can see in this video. By braiding, you're just taking one, two, three, one, two, three, and it just keep going on and on. The more you braid your head, the better you get at tightening your braids. <laughs> The last one, this is the last one, this is the last one. I basically took four days and I'm adding a little bit to the tip. I'm basically using shine gel. It kind of stretches the air out without you actually flat iron it. But this is the last one once again. I have three different sizes and probably three different colors, honestly. One is this is the smaller one, the middle one, and the third one. So once again, I split my hair into three strands, and I attached the first small strand to my scalp ish, and then you tuck that in. Then you go again and attach it. The second one I'm talking about the second one. Remember the second one. Let's focus. And then you braid it again, as you can see in this clip. Then you went again and tried attach the third one and I just braided it. It's more like you coloring your hair on just one strand, basically. If you haven't if you haven't seen my conro video, I'll insert it up here. I have a tutorial on that. And yeah, I just braided it all the way till the end. 
like as you can see in this video. It's not that I don't want you here. Yeah. It's not about the way you said to my eyes. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist you. You can get away. Palm trees, beach views, for the never day. All I wanna hear is that this is how we play. Right next to you. To make the ends of my hair curl, I decided to use um, a rubber band at the ends and just put them together like that. I don't know how to describe what I, what I did, but I just knew like, you know, it was definitely going to make the ends of my hair curl. And that's exactly what I did. It's not that I don't want you here. It's not the way. So I dipped my hair in hot water dried my hair out with a towel you have to be very careful because you could easily burn your hair and I just took out the elastic band as you can see in this clip hey, hey. she's in love with who I am back in high school I used to and I used some hot water to ease up the tension in my scalp Honestly, it wasn't that painful. I, was real, I made mine myself, so it definitely wasn't painful. I added some M mousse, mousse. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, you get the gist. Then I tied my hair with a do rag to make sure like everything is laid and the, my hair won't be too frizzy. You know, by the end of this video, <laughs> there you have it. I'm just going in and decorating my hair. She's in love with who I am. Back in high school, I used to bust it to the dance. Yeah. Now I hit the FBO with duffels in my hands. I did have a Zan 